In the earlier videos in this module, we worked our way through a number of steps of the process, a number of iterations, until we came up with this way to use two lists, one for the days of the week and one for the list of food, so that we could use repetition in order to sing the song about Monday is for green beans and Tuesday is for spaghetti without having too much duplicate code, right? We were able to use this idea of a repetition block so that we do this repeated redundant thing over and over and over again. And some of you are probably looking at this right now and saying, I get it. Oh, and some of you may be looking at this and saying, I don't get it. But even if you do or don't get it, you may be looking at this and saying, okay, I understand maybe why this person wanted to do this, but why would I care about this? Why would I, as a classroom teacher, uh, ever use this? I mean, if you think back to what I said in video number one for this module, I said, you know, many of you might want to be able to use this in your, in your normal classrooms, even if you were just a, a, a social studies teacher you might want to use this idea of list and you might be saying why how well let me give you a really specific example let's go with that idea of a social studies teacher right now suppose that as a social studies teacher you were asking your students to learn the capitals of the states in the United States I know that when I was in I think fifth grade that was one of my requirements I had to memorize all 50 states and their capitals Sadly, I'm still pretty bad at it. I don't know that it's stuck with me over the years, but it was one of the things that I had to learn. And suppose you wanted your kids to have an opportunity to practice that, to use Scratch as a quizzing sort of program. So let's look at how we do this. Let's actually make a new program that we're going to call the State Capital Quiz. Right? And so let's think about what this would need to be able to do. If I want to have a state capital quiz, I want to be able to have this cat ask me some random state, ask me the, uh, the capital for some random state. And so we want to be able to generate a way that this cat can pick randomly from some item randomly decide, let's ask about Iowa, and ask you, what is the capital of Iowa? And then you're going to put in the answer, which happens to be Des Moines, that one I know since I live in Iowa, and then it checks to see whether I'm right or wrong and gives me a, another point to my score. That's what we want to do with this state capital quiz. Now that I've motivated, I'm going to stop this video, and as we start up the next video, we'll actually talk about how we'd go about doing